Many theists believe God does and can exist as a spirit. This is impossible since this violates proper ontology, objective empirical evidence, and most importantly the very nature of existence. Simply put, you cannot exist or be made of a character trait. When someone asks the theist, what is God, or what is God made of, they can't logically say what God is, is a spirit. That's the same as someone asking, what is a turtle, what is a turtle made of, and the theist answers, what a turtle is, is a sensuality. A turtle can't be made of quote-unquote sensual any more than God can be made of quote-unquote spirit. As again, you cannot exist, i.e. be made of, a character trait. Saying God is a spirit is the same as saying God is made of liveliness. Saying a turtle is sensual is the same as saying the turtle is made of lust. You cannot exist ontologically as an emotion. To put it another way, spirit is like an activity. To say God is a spirit is as logically incoherent as saying a bed is made of sleep. A bed cannot be made of an activity, just as much as God or a turtle cannot be made of sensuality or spirituality. The logical proof for why God cannot exist, i.e. be made of, spirit, is that existence is an activity that therefore requires some thing that acts. To exist is to do. You cannot exist and do nothing. This is impossible and proven by the corollary of the contrary as nothing or non-existence doesn't do anything. That's one of the reasons it's nothing to begin with. In order to do or act, a thing must be composed of some form of energy. But energies of the natural realm, and spirits are inherently supernatural, thus they are necessarily absent of energy and therefore cannot exist as they lack the means to exist. Further, spirit is a character trait, and character traits aren't energy. They are attributes of that which has energy. To say otherwise is to bastardize all empirical ontology, science, and the very nature of existence.